Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kevin L. Kelly and you are watching Kevin L. Kelly Food Review. Imagine that. <laughs> Got something a little crazy for you today. I am going to show you how to either make fresh mashed potatoes or use your leftover mashed potatoes to make a mashed potato muffin or some people call them mashed potato puffs. All we're going to need is potatoes, muffin pan, and whatever ingredient you would like to put in it. Hey, stick around. Check out. Let me show you what I did. bacon on in case you wanted to add bacon bits to the mashed potato pies. This is something kind of interesting that I ordered off of Amazon. A little machine that peels the potatoes for you. Just kind of wanted to show you. And uh, it's a little bit loud, but I wanted you to see this. So check it out. Now that is pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty nice, huh? I gotta go down. Sweet. You gotta love it. Now we've got our potatoes cooked and in the strainer. Gonna get ready to mash them up. Here we go. All right, what we're about to do now is mix together the ingredients for my, let's call them mashed potato muffins. Some people call them mashed potato puffs. In general, what it is, is leftover mashed potatoes. These aren't actually leftover. Uh, they're cooked from fresh. But the idea is that you could use your leftover mashed potatoes uh, to make these. All right. First up, we are going to add a little bit of moisture, which is going to be about a quarter cup of butter. Okay, next thing we're going to add is going to be sour cream. Now, you want moisture, but you don't want a whole bunch of moisture because in the end we're going to bake these, bake them in the oven so they pretty much are going to be freestanding and you can add toppings later. Now I made bacon as you've seen in the video before and I made a finer bacon. Okay, sorry, this is what it is. This is a kind of a rough chop. This is a finer bacon and what I'm trying to do is get all the ingredients mixed in Okay, I've got chives. Okay, I have got Parmesan cheese. Now you guys can pretty much add anything you would like to add to it. Whatever flavors you would like. About a tablespoon of pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle cheese. So you can see there, sprinkle some cheese in there because I want cheese on the inside of it also. Okay, that's done. Okay, I'm going to start mixing it up here and hopefully this isn't too loud. See why I'm 
I'm going with this. We'll get this mixed up and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I've pretty much got this to the consistency that I need. Um, I did add one quarter cup of milk and another half stick of butter, but we do not want to get it too, too thin. Okay, my next step is going to be spraying down, well, spraying down my pan. It's very important that you spray the pan down because they will stick. Okay, I'm using kind of a larger pan. As you see here, there's six of them. And I've got a little trick that I'm going to show you of transferring this to the pan. And this is all it is. It's a bag. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, what I have done now is place the potatoes in just a, uh, a plastic bag, freezer size bag, one gallon. And what I'm going to do is cut the end off, and that gives me a little more accurate um, of where I'm placing it because you really don't want to slop it around here. I've already cleaned off the spray that I used. So. Let me move this so you can see it. We pretty much start here. Take it and fill it up. All right. Want to get them about three quarters, three quarters full, and. We're actually going to place them in the oven for about 20 minutes. And what you want to happen is the outside edges are going to crisp up. Okay, we're going to do one more here, I hope. Okay, kind of see where I'm going with this. Again, it's very important that you that you spray the pan down. Okay, all right. I'm gonna smooth these out a bit. Again, try to do it. Make sure they touch the edges. So I'm kind of going around, going around, and so forth. Um, because that's what's gonna make it firm on the outside. When that, that edge crisp up, well, that's what's going to make it stand on your plate. Um, as in, I guess, well, I guess that's in theory. Well, hopefully, hopefully it happens. <laughs> now, these can be served with anything, any type of meat. I mean, I'm talking macaroni and cheese. I'm talking anything. It's kind of like a, well, it's, it's almost like a baked potato. And you can top it with what you like. And you can also mix in any ingredient that you like. Now this also can be done with a sweet potato. This one's kind of this one's kind of slacking here, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up where I think it should be. But yeah, if you're not into the, the russet potato, you're into more of a, a sweet potato, the same thing can be done. All right, I think we're pretty much where I'd like to be. That's what we got. All right, I'm going to place this in the oven, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. All right, this is what we have got. Let's see how it turned out. If I can even get one out of here. This probably should cool for a little bit longer. But, let's see, I'm going to choose this one. And again, we're just trying to, trying to get it out. Uh, it's not, it's not feeling too, it's not feeling like it's going to come out. It might. You've got to keep in mind, these are mashed potatoes. Um, 
I think after it cools down a little bit, you know, I'm gonna try this one. So we can do. You guys can see that. Oh, it actually did come out. Look at that. Let me slide this back. All right, so that's pretty much what you're gonna have on your plate. And you know what? I'm I'm pretty proud of that. Now, you can put any toppings. You can hollow out the center. Maybe put gravy. Yeah. You can put more bacon bits, more chives, sour cream, anything you would like. But uh, I think this was a pretty successful video. I may have done a few things a little different. But uh, anyway, thank you guys 100% for watching my videos. If you like what I'm doing, please hit the thumbs up button. Maybe leave a comment. Maybe you've cooked these before. Uh, maybe I've done something wrong or something I could do different to make them better. I am open for suggestions. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next video.